Hi there, my name is Hermano and welcome to the channel. Today I am on a laptop running Debian 10 Buster and I want to show you how you can install Nextcloud on it. As you probably already know, Nextcloud is a suite of client server software for creating and using file hosting services. It's very similar to Dropbox, but unlike Dropbox, it does not offer off-premises file storage hosting. There are many apps you can use inside Nextcloud like Mail and Calendar beside file sharing. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to install Nextcloud on Debian 10. So I'm on a Tuxedo computer laptop here and I installed Debian 10, just, just a normal installation. However, I recommend you to install two extra packages just to avoid having any issues. One is the build-essential package and the other one is the linux-headers-amd64 package if you have, of course, a 64-bit machine. So having done that, just make sure once your system is up to date and then we are good to go. So I'm going to open up the terminal. There you go. So in order to install Nextcloud, we'll need to install a web server, in this case, Apache 2. So I'll give you a couple of packages to install on your Debian desktop. Uh, feel free to pause the video so that you can copy these commands into your terminal and then proceed when you're done. So once you copy the packages, just hit enter and enter your sudo password. And just reply yes to install all the packages. So it's going to take a while to download and install everything. And there you go. So now to make sure that Apache is actually using PHP, we need to restore the server. So let's do that by typing in sudo system control restart Apache 2 and just hit enter. And there you go. The MariaDB client is a package we downloaded before and it allows us to install a database for use with Nextcloud. So let's start the installation of this database. I'm going to type in sudo mysql underscore secure installation and then hit enter. Oh, there you go. Now we can choose a password for the root user for this database. So I'm going to just enter one. So now I just set one, so I don't want to change it. So in this case, I'll type no. Remove anonymous users. Yes, absolutely. Disallow root login remotely. Yes, absolutely. That's a security risk. And remove test database and access to it. Yes, absolutely. Reload privileges. Absolutely. Yes. And there you go. The installation was successful. Now clear up the terminal. So now let's just sign in into the database with the root user we just created. So I'm going to type sudo mysql user root the password. So I'm going to enter the password. And now we are into the Maria database command line. So Next thing, we need to create a new database. Well, let's type that create database. I'm going to call it this time next cloud local and end this with a semicolon and hit enter. There you go. We have our new database here. Now we need to create a new user for this database. So let's do that by typing create user. Hermano at localhost close quote identified by the passwords one, two, three, four, the best password ever. And, and this is a semicolon, hit enter. There you go. So because this user will be interacting with every aspect of the database, we need to grant him all privileges. So let's do that by typing in grant all on next cloud local dot whatever to hermano at localhost 
and with the semicolon hit enter there you go now the last step would be to flush privileges so that it will be freshly loaded the next time let's do this by typing flush privileges semicolon enter and then now we are ready to exit the program we'll just type backslash q and enter and there you go i can have the terminal now we are going to download nextcloud onto our computer here so i want to change directory i want to go to the downloads directory so i'll just type in cd downloads there you go just gonna list in here there should be nothing exactly so I'll just clean the terminal and now let's download nextcloud if you have a problem downloading nextcloud with wget and the system comes up saying that wget is not installed you can do that by typing this command get and there you go once you enter we get will be installed and then you can use the command i have it already installed here so there was nothing new so I'm just clean up the terminal and proceed with the installation of nextcloud i'm gonna type in the command here you can just pause the video again and copy it on your computer if you need to do that so the latest version of nextcloud is 17.0.0 so you just enter this number if it's still the latest release when you're watching this, otherwise you just type in uh, the different version number. Once you're done, just hit enter. And it's gonna take a while to download here. And there you go. So let me clean up the terminal first. So what we need to do first is unzip the zip file we just downloaded. So we do that by typing in unzip and the zip file and just hit enter. I'll clean up the terminal. There you go. Now we need to copy the extracted folder into the web root directory. So let's do that by typing this command. You can pause the video if you need uh, to copy this. So in this command, just remember to switch the username to yours. Then once you're done, just hit enter. And there you go. Now, because Nextcloud is going to be on the Apache server, we need to give Apache full ownership of Nextcloud as well. So let's do that by typing in this command. Again, you can pause the video if you need time to copy this. And once you're done, just hit enter. There you go. Now we are all set. What we need to do now is to go to the browser and navigate to localhost slash Nextcloud installation, whatever the name might be, and we can continue the setup from there. So I'm going to leave the terminal open for now and just looking for Firefox and open that up. And there you go. And now let's put into the address bar localhost slash next cloud local because that's the name I gave it. And as you can see, we are now in the setup panel. So we'll just proceed and create a new admin account. I'll put the, my name here and I'll give it a password. I will leave data folder as is. Database user is the one we set up before. So it's going to be Hermano again. Database password was my super secret password. And the database name was Nextcloud Local. And localhost is the default, and I'll let this as it is. Now I'm going to click Finish Setup. It's going to take some time for Nextcloud to configure everything, and I'll be back when it's done. And there you go. Everything went well. Nextcloud installed. Now we have a welcome screen here. I'll just scroll through it. Get some useful infos here. And start using Nextcloud. And there you go, Nextcloud is here, fully functional. So there are other ways how to access this installation from outside your local host, from an external IP. I'm not gonna go through this in this video. If you want me to do that, just let me know and I will try to make one and that'll help you how to configure also your router in order to access this installation from outside your house network.
Well, and that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more, make sure you like this video by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything else specific you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.